welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It's been a few weeks since I uploaded a video and the main reason for that being is that I work for a retail company and the holiday season is just the busiest time. So yeah, today I'm going to do a very different video that I haven't done in this channel. I'm going to show you the makeup I usually do whenever I film videos and I'm gonna talk to you about my plans for this channel, what's gonna happen, and a few things I got for Christmas, yeah? So it's, this is just gonna be a very chill video. I hope you enjoy, you learn more about me, put me in the background as you're cleaning your house. This is just gonna be very chill. This is gonna be interactive. I want you guys to comment down below everything that you wanna know about me. And yeah, let's start 2020 right. The first thing I usually do is moisturize. I haven't done this part because so it's a very pleasant day today here in Canada. Not too cold. Oh, pretty much no. So how were you guys New Year's? How was your holidays? I got really sick during the holiday season and on New Year's Eve I got a very high fever so there wasn't any anything that happened. I was in bed in my PJs. My moisturizer is a Pyongyang Intensive Repair Cream. I like this for the winter. It's amazing. I'm gonna use my Hamish Glow base as a base. Usually, I keep my filming look quite um a little bit heavy because not everything registers the way it is in real life on camera. So I have to make it look a little bit heavy. And then, as for a primer, I use the, the YSL Touche Eclat Primer. I love this primer because it makes your pores disappear. It's very silicone-y though, so if you don't like that feeling, this might not be for you. I usually just put it over my nose and on my cheeks and then here under my chin where the pores are quite big. So yeah, the main reason why I didn't want to do like a regular haul sit down video for today is because over the end of last year, I just had to think about how I spent my money better because uh, I went to school here in Canada and I have student loans to pay and I'm 25 if you don't know that so I really have to be wise in where I spend my money and probably think about the long term maybe because right now I'm renting this beautiful apartment but in the future in the next five years I want to be able to buy my own place buy my own house you know be invest in things that actually matter in the long run instead of just buying this 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 and this also I plan on traveling this year, going back home to the Philippines for a few weeks because I want to see my relatives and friends. So yeah, those are the big things that I have to save my money on. So then this channel, I plan on making this more of like less, less purchases but more content. So I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Maybe I'm going to do more a day in my life I'm gonna do more how I style things that I already have I don't need to keep buying a lot of stuff although I did get a few more things for Christmas so yeah. so to continue that primer should be good is it usually you just use some um, uh, cushion for my face I don't like foundation or at least I haven't found the foundation I want yet Right now, at my Sephora cart, I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, so 
But I might have to go to Sephora to get that because they match you perfectly in the Sephora store. I don't... Like, although I would say that filming makeup is a bit heavier, I would still say though that like, I don't use full coverage foundation because I don't need it. I know I'm lucky for having quite clear skin. That's, that's it. That's it for my base. And then usually I do a spot concealing whenever I film, just because I have like a little bit of a under eye circle going on. But the technique for me is just putting it here where this line is, not putting it over because then that would highlight stuff. I also plan on buying a corrector one of these days. Yeah, I just wanted like a change of content from this video. I don't want this channel to just be all about hauls because that's just too much consumerism. Because number one, not everyone has that much money to buy that much stuff in a short period of time, which I know, and that's crazy. I found myself to be buying so much stuff last year because hauls particularly really do well, but that's not sustainable. So I really want to focus on this YouTube channel for this year and do other stuff other than hauls. I would still show you guys if I purchase something, if I do a big purchase, like a luxury item, of course I'm still going to show in a haul. but. Maybe I will just do one haul per season or one haul every one haul every six months, but this is definitely going to be a low buy year for me because, yeah, again I'm traveling to the Philippines and I'm saving up for a house. So, yeah. So after that's done, I usually take this powder here and. I'm such a ghetto, I don't have a lot of makeup brushes because makeup isn't really my thing, but I like doing it for for videos. I have to do it for videos, so here. I take this middle shade and then I dab it underneath. I hope the colors kind of match on camera. The thing about um, Christian foundations is that they tend to always be lighter because East Asians tend to have lighter skin than Southeast Asians like me. So, but they usually oxidize once you wear it for a few minutes, so it doesn't really matter. So then, once that's in place, I usually um, go and do my eyebrow. For my eyebrow, maybe I should scoot a little bit closer to you guys. So, I'm also running out of my eyebrow pencil, so I have to pick up one quick because I don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah, that's my life in 2020. I also want to get to know you people. Like, I started with 7 subscribers and now I'm at 128. So, I want to know what you guys like, what you guys want to see in my channel except for hauls. That would be a good thing. I, I feel like none of my family members actually know I have a YouTube channel except for my sister, so I don't usually overfill my eyebrows, but I just extend it a little bit like here with my end. I don't need to fill it up too much because I have thick eyebrows. Not really, but just thick enough so that, that I don't have to do them every day. So, yeah. Just 
do the Anastasia brow pencil. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And then usually after that I do my eyes. I like peachy stuff, so I'm using the Too Faced peach palette. I take just peachy or this other darker peach shade and then just put it all over my eyes. So using my hands because I mean, if you can use your hands for doing stuff, like why would you need tools for it? <laughs> Maybe because I'm not a makeup artist. You know? Yeah. Then usually, I usually just put one color in my eyes because, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I, I don't do cut creases or anything crazy like that. And then I pick up again my contour palette and then I contour the shit out of my face. Yeah, so here, I start here and like the socket of my eye extend underneath my eyebrows. I take the middle shade usually and then I drag it down. Not a makeup artist, please don't put comments saying, oh my gosh, you're doing it wrong. This is just what works for me and this is just how I do my makeup, so. Maybe I'll show you the things I got for Christmas at the end, or maybe in the middle, who knows. Just tune in. Because you know when you're Asian, you don't have such a high nose bridge. So that's what I'm trying to create here, okay? I wasn't blessed, but makeup can give me that, so. I've had this palette, this contour palette for so long, I better replace this. Okay, now that I've con contoured my face enough, I put, this is just something I tried and it works well for me, I put concealer at the, on the middle, on the bridge of my nose and on the sides of my nose. I don't know how does that look on camera? <laughs> Anyway, after that, I grab my, this is here, my Laura, my Laura Mercier setting powder. i get the powder puff. And then I set it right here. I mean, that's it. That's perfect. This is how I'm going to go out. Then, just going to wait for a few more moments. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I usually do my eyeliner. I put too thick of a wing. It's going to occupy my whole lid and it's just not going to look cute. So, let's see if I can do this. This is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. You see that? My baby wing. Yeah. That's how I like to do it. It's Lash Paradise. I love this mascara. It's from the drugstore. It's cheap. It does the job. So, yeah. on the eyebrows like who needs brown mascara when you have regular mascara 
things I do because I'm not a makeup artist. And you know what? While waiting for this to dry, let me just grab the things that I got for Christmas. The first thing that I want to show you guys that I got for Christmas is something my boyfriend gave me. It's this 14k gold midgery earrings, which I love. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me such a generous gift for Christmas. And then I got this for myself, of course. Red boots. They're my Dorothy boots. Yeah. You know, to put them on. And then say, there's no place like home. Do it from work, and then you're back home. From Vagabond, these are the Olivia boots. And then I also got three things from Aritzia because I just can't stop shopping from the store. I got this cami, this hot pink cami, which looks, I don't know, not so good on camera, but I have the blue one, which I've worn in my lookbooks and have worn on my Instagram photos. And I love that shit. And then I also watch, I also got this top, which is good for like, going out to the club, exposing a little bit of skin. And although it's winter here, girls still wear sexy clubbing clothes. Sometimes I don't get that. Then I also got this sweater. It's that turtleneck with the belt at the bottom so you can cinch it in. It's white, does everything. I've been putting this on my shelf, so it's not on the box anymore, but it's nice. Isn't it lovely? This is the smallest size for the Gucci bags. And I just, you know what I did? I hacked it and I tied a hair tie right here so then I can make it double chain because usually this bag is worn with a single chain and I'm not about that life. Well, I am about that life, but I've just noticed that people wearing, you know, like tiny shoulder bags like that. It, it actually looks pretty swell with my robe. That's enough intermission and the powder has dried off of my face so now I have to brush it off. It's the Urban Decay glowy one. I don't like the matte one. I usually do my, la my lips last. What I learned from Kim Kardashian is that they spray and then they dry it. This multi pot from 3CE and Oh, I forgot to put on blush. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. I use the same thing for my blush. I like the whole, like, I'm so drunk kind of look. So I usually like put a little bit of blush in the middle of my nose. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's my usual filming look. Let's release, release. Clips. Oh, my bags are getting too long. I hope you guys enjoy. This is going to be a low buy year for me. Comment down below what you would want to see. I don't know. I hope you guys have a good week coming. And subscribe. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. It's going to be down below.